Today we're going to be installing and configuring transmission torrent. I'm going to show you how to create directories, and how to make sure your firewall is open and the ports are unblocked, and how to use the web interface. So let's go ahead and download and install transmission torrent. Okay, now I'm going to be moving through this video real fast. And the reason being is I have step-by-step -step instructions on the blog. So we're just going to go ahead and accept all the current defaults. It will automatically allow us to add an exception in the firewall. And now we'll simply go over to our uh, uh, preferences. And we'll change the directories for the uh, temporary and for the downloads these are the actual folders now I've already created the folders in advance of where I want them to go and I'm just going to go ahead and accept some of the uh, default changes that I like every single one of these changes uh, I have put in the blog uh, with a very detailed explanation now one of the things I do want to talk about here is the difference between port forwarding and UPnP most modern day routers have UPnP enabled so if you select UPnP you do not have to worry about forwarding your port because it will do it automatically so even if it says that the port is closed or being blocked that doesn't matter because the packets are still being forwarded through the UPnP so that's the easiest way to set up transmission and you'll clearly be able to tell a difference when you see your downloading speeds depending on your internet connection uh, you should be able to download fairly fast I'm actually able to download gigabyte movie and I don't know about an hour or less now we can allow encryption prefer encryption or require encryption if you require encryption that is going to slow the system down obviously because you're only going to accept encrypted uh, incoming connections the fastest is to simply allow encryption that'll be the fastest okay you're also going to have an option on here for what's called a block list a block list is sort of like an antivirus list where it's a listing of known IP addresses that are either tracking downloaders or putting out false information or somehow or another uh, owned by the governments or music and movie association if you download that block list and you can find them doing a Google search you'll just simply download the list and then point to that directory uh, in the block list section and you can also see that uh, on my site so I highly advise that you take a moment go ahead and go over and see my step uh, by step guide because it really is in depth and it shows you how to do everything right here you can see I'm about to log into the web interface this is awesome because it doesn't matter if I'm at the library or anywhere else as long as I have an internet connection I can control all the torrents on my local machine okay guys uh, I hope this guide has been uh, good. Please leave me some comments and questions and I'll help you out. Thank you YouTube and bye.